My name is Justin Cavedo. I work with Tacoma Power in Tacoma, Washington. The problem that we were trying to solve is the best method to effectively and affordably uh, provide a comprehensive configuration management program for a diverse platform of operating systems uh, that would help us prove compliance to our federal auditing agency. Tacoma Power evaluated several tools to try to determine the best avenue of approach and a common problem that we consistently ran into was either that the cost of the applications we were evaluating were prohibitive or in entering into the engagement with these vendors, uh, we ran into conflicts between what we felt was best to help us uh, accomplish and uh, provide evidence of compliance was different than what they thought that we should be doing. And that became a challenge for Tacoma Power because we have substantial experience in successful auditing processes, but we're really looking for a partner to work with us and to maximize our core efficiencies uh, while helping us uh, provide the automation, which would be a skill set or, or a functionality set that we lacked. One of the proudest things that we've been able to accomplish is we not only use SimTrack to accomplish all of the requirements specified by SIP 10 R1, which uh, goes into the specifications which defines a, a computing asset baseline, but we're also able to utilize our custom set of scripts to expand baseline functionality into SIP 7 and a few other areas of interest that fall outside of the SIP program. And we manage this under a comprehensive process. And so instead of just focusing our baseline management tool on, say, software deviations or operating system uh, changes and deviations, we can look at new users. Uh, we can look at the functionality of our anti-malware protection suite. And all of that process, all, any changes that happen within that space are all managed as a baseline for the asset. But then we can subspecify to say which items are specifically SIP10 focused and which other items fall under other areas of concern. One of the most beneficial uh, after effects of becoming more efficient is that you can produce your work faster without stressing your staff. We were able to accomplish a lot more than we were in the past with the same staffing, same tools, and really the appreciable same costs as we were investing previously in our configuration management program. Another added benefit is that we get to do it our way. We define what the scripts are, we define what our compliance approach is going to be. Uh, we can interface with our auditors directly and bounce those ideas against them and then bring that back to our SimTrack application and program what we've discussed. And that doesn't require much of anything on the part of SimCore to support those uh, functionality changes or the flexibility that SimTrack offers us. One of the key differences that we experienced and noted in our relationship with SimCore versus other vendors is that we came to SimCore to say, to say, your application is great, but there are places that it's lacking. And the places that it's lacking are areas that would be um, a significant benefit for us if we could find a way to compromise and make improvements in those areas. And largely, those that, that feedback is received in a very positive way. And my lead engineers have a very good relationship and speak very highly of SimCore engineers. They're receptive, um, they're responsive, and uh, within reason, because the software has development life cycles, but within reason, um, they try their best to implement the functionality requests that we put into them, as well as take an aggressive approach to uh, fixing bug fixes that we, we bring to them. What surprised me the most is not only how receptive engineers were, but that level of receptivity and responsiveness extended all the way up through the CEO. And I've had several conversations with him, and they were conversations that really communicated to me that he wasn't just giving me lip service, that he really cared about listening to us and learning from us and maintaining a positive relationship. And that's one of the things that has encouraged us to continue to work with SimCore and to try to help them become a better company in their space as they are helping us uh, really make our uh, pursuit of compliance, uh, I wouldn't dare say easy, but a lot more pleasant and much more in our control than we've had in the past. I would say that SimTrack and our relationship with SimCore has saved us in order of magnitude in the realm of thousands of dollars. 
And I come to that estimate um, based on two approaches in measuring ROI. One of which is how much time is it saving my engineers? Uh, co companies can often overlook what it costs them in terms of staff time for engineers that have to touch multiple systems and multiple different platform types and gather that information and recompile it and present it into a way that is representative of the professionalism of the organization. Uh, I know from personal experience, because uh, we were there at one point, um, that that can be very painful and very time consuming. The other way that I look at it is uh, SimTrack is really relatively an affordable program. One of the biggest benefits of SimTrack is the low cost combined with the level of flexibility that it gives us. Uh, so we're not looking to SimTrack to solve all of our compliance program uh, questions for us. We're, we're bringing that to the table. We're looking for a partner to help us with automation to be able to provide that remote orchestration platform that we can then tell the tool what we need to get, have the tool bring it back, do the relative data comparisons for us, and hand us a report that is representative of our systems. From that point, we can take that evidence and pass it to our compliance teams or deliver it to our auditors. And it's largely in a format that's already ready to be delivered. Uh, that is quite a value to us uh, that is so difficult to overstate.